the woman in a some wallet away. The woman say, it's hard out there. She has to have bills to pay. She said one at a time, man, you do dirty work to her and she a man fight because remember say, enough people don't know how rough it is for a sex worker out there. The mafia defend them front, they defend them money, the mafia fight for them rights every, every time, every night. And it's education. Education is a thing where a lot of us could not afford. Some of us is not our fault. So everybody who got the opportunity to further their studies and get an education, the interview is on This Is A Blast, Kamisha. It's on This Is A Blast on Instagram. Anybody or everybody who got a chance to further their studies and reach where it is because education is, 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 is it's a very, very, very important thing. It's very important to our society now. And remember again, a lot of people have skill but they don't have the qualifications. When I hear the lady say, how rough it is, I feel it fair. I feel it for her, I feel it for her because she said, look how me have to dress. Sometimes I even scan myself. When the woman says she scan herself sometimes, it hurt me heart. It hurt me heart. Because I'm not a youth to get up and judge people. Because you will see a man clean and deep down inside. I'm going to go through it worse. You know what I mean? We're not supposed to get up and judge people. Because sometimes we might judge them wrong. But the sex work of them, I know how not go cheat right now. I know how not go cheat right now. I don't want to choose that road there because I don't like when you can't get up and put on a pretty clothes and go in a bank for getting to work. You know my people don't know how to go online and fill out anything. You know my people don't even know how to write good on a paper. Remember, everybody who can read and write, them can count. That a one thing me learn. They can count. So she did and I tell her that she need fifty or thousand for do this because she have got a quote for that. She have got find twenty two three thousand for that. She have pay six hundred dollar for go for, 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 to watch it to Saint Mary. Six hundred dollar. And she have to come and in a watch it on the cell and look at front. And sometimes it's rough, she don't get the cell in the front. See? That's why they always say, want it, want it, can't get it, and get it, get it, and want it. Many of us are in some position that we don't appreciate. We don't appreciate the person that is there for us. We don't appreciate things that nobody does for us. And while some others out there who are fighting their, for their, their life to keep the clothes on them back. People, be very thankful of the position that you are in today. We should be grateful. We should be grateful. Because trust me, many times you hear some people's story. And when you hear them story, not for we judge and say then I owe them make that happen, then I owe them make that happen. Remember, you know, I am a open minded person. Like a lot of times some females have six kids. People always say, so why she get up and have six big, six kids? Because she have one, then she have two. Many times I look at it and I say, you know, say, I guess she had the man that look up front for feed the other two where she have and end up with two more because she don't have no other way 
how to feed them kids they more than go lay down. Because she not think about sexual breed. While some of them just sit down and say, eh, my pity them not go suffer, you know. Anything or anything. I go just go do me something. So, I have an open mind. I just get up and go judge people. I like listen to people's story and, and think. Because everybody have a story. Everybody have a story. That's why I say people should be grateful. A lot of us can get up and afford to spend a thousand dollars and buy anything. Like, you know, whatever thousand dollar can buy, eh, spend the thousand dollar. While you have some people who love five hundred dollar out of that thousand dollar. People are suffer, boy. Yeah. People are suffer. Me not there for judge nobody. Me not there for bash nobody. People are suffer. So me a try to say to you, say, open up your eye, people. Me never say to take your last you nobody. Know, Choose who you decide to help. Choose who you decide to help. Because some of these people are wicked. They will have and they act like they don't have. Begging has become a business. It's a career now. Right, Punky? Begging is a business now. But, and all away, beggy, beggy. Some of we have pride. And them says, no, for we, we pride, I go kill we. Me see it happen. Perfect example. When spies keep the treat, don't a marvel. Eh? One girl come, and the girl says she stand up in a line, and she get whatever she get, and she complain. And when she a complain, she dey on camera complain, and she a say, "Oh, me done buy me pitney them bag already." So since you buy your pitney them bag already, and you buy your pitney them something already, why would you go to Spice Street? Just to class spice and say, oh, if I them bag the spice, I give away, and if I that spice, I give away. People like you, you should have lose everything what you have. Because you didn't want it. But you got here, stand up in a long line, push and push and hustle and bustle and all kind of something, and you didn't want it. And next thing, I know no found no financially stable. In Jamaica, even a foreign, I know no found no, I don't know go to a supermarket or whatever you call it. I know that a lot of you know, spend a lot of money. You know buy stuff that you know not even want. You know just go pick up. Because I know so you know have no kids and you know, so you know want to buy this for the you know kids and you know want this for the you know kids and you want. Know. This found the kids and that found the kids. So now make sure you them have everything. Now is not the time for food to be wasting because people are dead for hungry. Long time people are hungry, but now it's worse. It's worse now that people is dying for hunger. Stop go full up your chalet at stuff where you know you don't want. A need and a want. Everybody should understand what's need and wants. Not because you can afford it, that means you must run and go buy it. Every week, people get up and say them are going to the supermarket. Nobody goes to the supermarket every week. Because you look, if, you look, if you look, how much time you cook during the week? Some of have two times you cook. Sunday, maybe Wednesday or Thursday, one of them did it. See? And when you're looking at the fridge, it's like when you full up on the fridge for sure people saw on the fridge full of food. Then poor light go away. What is going to happen to all of this food? We as a people, we need to discipline ourselves. We need to discipline ourselves. And remember again, we have grown accustomed to not eating overnight food. We passed overnight food stage a long time. So, 
why not cook food that it can finish and you wash out your pot and turn it down because after you eat this now so you know you have shrimp in the fridge beef in the fridge oxtail in the fridge french fried chicken curry mutton over there so all kind of things your fridge just full of everything you just say oh that's that me don't want that we need to buy what we need and not what we want I'm going to fill up the fridge of juice and I buy in the water. Water is essential. Stop buying too much juice. And drink more water. I know some of you do things to show the gram. And say, La, look how much money I spend up a price mart. Look how much money I spend a mega mart. Look how much money I spend a high low. Look how much money I spend a progressive. I want to put up on spend fifty and sixty thousand dollar, and in the lockdown, three week with a lockdown, and a three week we're not gonna join the long line them. Why we're not join the long line them? I don't know. I don't know because you already bought stuff where you're all supposed to. It's supposed to serve. So who are you trying to prove something to? Who are you competing with? You're competing with yourself because there shouldn't be a competition. With stuff that you bought or whatever you want to buy. You know, go to a crazy gym and you buy the whole of the cream, them and basking rabbins and the, 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 the. all kind of ice cream and them in the fridge. Because you don't have a big fridge. Not because you have a big fridge, you have to fight for full the fridge. Not because you have a big fridge, you fight for full the fridge. Remember, people still eat overnight food, you know. But enough people don't eat overnight food long time. Remember, you know, overnight food, their roots. But as you may say, I mean, I like food for waste. Food not supposed to waste. These days that we are going through is the test of time. Many relationships fail drastically already over the past year because people start seeing them partner through colors. People start saying, okay, I'm there with that person a long time. And I didn't know that this person was like this until we were all locked in and locked down. This pandemic show you people true colors and people true intentions everybody who is an aspired um business personnel or an entrepreneur you have your job and you have your online business or your business where you just start it don't matter what you start you start something you did a great thing because you sit down and you make Choices for yourself or choices for your children. Look at it. Online class is supposed to start this morning or Wednesday. A lot of people still don't have internet at the house. A lot of people still don't have a tablet. A lot of people books. We're not bought because nobody don't know what the fiscal year or what the school year or the academical year was going to be. We just heard it a few weeks ago that school was going to open in such time. Uniforms were not built. Um, so much things was not done. Book list was not filled either. They were not bought. So everybody is on a, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I need to give a look at advice. And the next three years before we come out of that situation. Yeah. The next three years before we come out of this situation that we are in. The next three years. 
Some cars been by now. This would have been the second year of the pandemic. So a five year we have to go through. A lot of us won't make it. A lot of us will make it. But don't when you if you live to see December you get up and say, Whoa, you make this pandemic go on and this and that and that. No. It's not gonna be like that. It's not gonna be like that. You have three more years to go. I give it three more years. We will not get back normal city until them one we go back to normal. Because remember the last when we did before we did ban enough away them have SARS and it did take them amount of time. Just check it now man. Remember you know. After everybody is fully vaccinated, right? Fully vaccinated meaning because them so once you take two doses you're fully vaccinated. Now them have the boots that come in. After the boots you got the charger. After the charger you got the adapter. After the adapter you got one another one. And one another one and one another one and another one. So people, brace yourself to be taking shots every three months or every four months. A lot of people are going to say me a idiot. I don't know what I say. But be prepared. Be prepared. So when you start cussing it, save some of the energy little. Do me a big one. Save some of the energy little. When you take two shots already, and when you're not ready to take the boots yet. Right? Remember, me know, so you know the man named Fauci or Fauci or Fokri or what the man want him. Him come out and say they have a next vaccine coming out. So now it's 22. Because remember COVID-22 has come out. No found it just busy because you don't take vaccine yet. So you don't take one or two doses already. So you don't take two doses already when you feel like say. You don't have to take no more. Get ready. So nobody worry about who you don't take not even one shot yet. Worry about the other shots that's going to come. Fauci tell you. How do I feel about the vaccine? The vaccine is the world agenda. And them not going to lose. Them not going to lose. Because remember again, a lot of us was ignorant and still acting ignorant to what the agendas are. First, they were saying that it was 5G and whatever. And after we was complaining about 5G, this and 5G, that and everything, that we just get this because of BAM! Cherise tell us it's going to be a yearly thing. So every year you're going to have to take a shot. Some people have got to take the shot, take the shot. You hear me tell you, you say, boots, charger, adapter, this and that one, that and that one, all kind of need that one. So, the unvaccinated versus the vaccinated. Calm down on yourself, little. Please, stop cussing on one another. Stop worrying people if you go take vaccine. They don't gonna eat your weird earths already. You pack it. They know you need your job. That's why they put it in the job. They know you want your picnic for go to school. That's why they put it in the school. You understand? Remember, them said the third wave come. So we are going on the third wave now. Don't be surprised after Labor Day, like after today, when September done, you hear about the fourth wave coming. Right? 
So the fourth wave and the fifth wave and the sixth wave are gonna come and every wave are gonna come. All tidal wave are gonna come. All the wave we're having in your ear. So all of these waves are gonna come. So make we just stop cuss and tell you no friend them where a war and I say who I said them no want go around nobody when a vaccinated and them no want no this and them no want no that. God check this. You are vaccinated. I am not vaccinated. But we shop at the same place. You now go to the supermarket because me go there. Eh? The virus is out. All about. Everybody cock up and spoil up and run around and down in the supermarket every Wednesday morning. Every Wednesday to Saturday the supermarket is full. The same set of people that run up and down. Coronation market full up. Every market, Mobile market, Mapian market, Kleinan market, St. Mary market, Portland market, St. Thomas market, every market. And the whole way we are rub up and bumps up and array. Master or not, we are rub up against one another. One sister, we have to stop and stop because of one another on the internet. We have to get up and stop because and stop and just think for just a minute. Just sit down to yourself and say, let me get a, a grip on myself and look for how this ago. We used to live good and a business where you want to have from where you don't want to have. All of a sudden now we are care about if you're vaccinated. All of a sudden. We care about who is vaccinated. When last when you hear somebody care about who have AIDS? When last you heard somebody said, a last week, what a girl named from Atlanta, Nene Leakes, her husband died from colon, colonel, colonel cancer. Long time no me hear cancer kill nobody. Because every time somebody dies, it's COVID. I want to ask you now a question. Is COVID more dangerous than, 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 than cancer? Is COVID more dangerous than AIDS? Is COVID more dangerous than syphilis and all of these sexually transmitted diseases? Because I've, I've, I, it, I, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've been hearing none of these things killing anyone. For the past year, all I hear is COVID, COVID, COVID. So a man that's battling cancer, or a man that has a brain tumor, or a female that has a brain tumor. These things, when you have a tumor in the brain. Okay, COVID dangerous than cancer. COVID kill you quicker than cancer. Okay. But just ask, you know. I'm just asking. Because true, I'm not hearing um, nobody talk about this um, sickness anymore. So, when you have type 2 diabetes, when you have to live on dialysis covid kill you quicker than when you can't get a dialysis because if you have sugar diabetes because your pressure will high and your sugar level will drop plus your pressure go high that kill you um lesser than covid remember you know i'm just saying but as I say, ah, it's a Syrac boy, they say, the thing called lupus. That is a terrible, terrible thing. But I don't hear people mentioning this thing here. Is lupus a dangerous, a dangerous illness? I think so. I don't hear anybody to say, yes, it is. Lupus is very dangerous. You have the lupus suck you out, and you have the lupus to swell you up. And remember again, as we Pamela said, anyone with a serious health condition is more at risk for COVID. So once you have any underlying issue, you can't catch COVID. 
Anybody can get COVID. You can't catch it. It's there. It's there. It's real. It's it, it there. It's there. You understand? So, when me I try to say to people, let's stop cause we want to up on the internet about who is unvaccinated and who the people are not adhere to the protocols and the people are not this and that and that and that and that and that and that and that. I don't see anybody putting out any solution more than go and take the vaccine. That's all I'm seeing. Take the vaccine and the world will be a better place. We did a stuff a long time before this COVID thing coming up. We did a go through all kind of things, you know, before this thing are coming up. See? We did a deal with all of them something a long time. And everybody who catch COVID before and survived it. Thank the Savior. Thank Jehovah. So, what may I say is, people, this man is somebody messaging our group. I said, I'm one of the people who have died for catch COVID. I think so that was one of the stupidest things somebody could have ever write. I believe, because some people just in a group for just chat. Like, you know, some people up on the internet just for just chat. So, you have to know who you pay attention to. You have to just who you even give your energy to because trust me, we have some people boy away. If you follow them, you have to tear out your ear. I know me not a year for me already. So people, prayer alone can help you. Because you know people have said them stay prayed up. But prayer alone. Again, how do you feel about taking the vaccine? I will be one of the last person for them to take the vaccine still. Remember, you know, first shot, second shot, booster, charger, adapter, another one, another one, plus another one. I bet I'm going to wait. I bet I'm going to wait. And then probably them go to them now and say they have one shot in a one, everything in a one. In. So when everything does come in a one now, I just say, all right. And take it. Smiley, me I need to leave off and post them and stop coming. Because enough time you try off of me and try. Yeah, enough time you come on, I don't know where, 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 why, why, why you feel like it. I see him last night, I see him up on the woman live. Yeah, 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 yeah. Run, come on with your, with your, with your, with your back of comment and I feel like it. You have to just come comment and comment things where I not even like. So I can't see me post them anymore. Because you was a man where when you're ready to talk about music and then another time you take up politics and then another time you take up all kind of things. You have to choose the struggle and choose where you want to take up. You know? Because you change all your name. When you change your name for me, you know. You used to have smiley for your name and then you take it off. Now your name one different something. No, any name one different something. But, as I say, people, I wait till everything come out. Here's Mr. Walker. Here's it, Tommy. May I wait till everything come out. As I say, there's no way we can win. We can't win because it doesn't start already. Then, we can't win. We can't win. So, we could have read up and read up and then listen again the next thing when we say them have a thing where them have people as send out false narrative and you have to fact check things now so it's what them put out we supposed to read remember you know the false narrative where people have sent out some things some video with it from 19 or long from Jack and Jill go up the hill them they dead there, you know. But if you post it on your page, them delete it and say a fact check. Because you have to remember, the information is there 
a lot of people out the road are protest about a whole heap of things but it's not coming on on the internet like for instance them have the vaccine them have the vaccine um protesters anti-vaxxers them out you know what i mean them out they mean they are half a tree we see them a spanish tongue one at a time we see them a maple one at a time see it? the choice is yours nobody not forcing you not to do anything you have to make up your mind to face a reality people you have to wake up and smell your own coffee or smell your own fat you understand me just say wake up